Welcome. I'm Kim Dawson, Communications Director of ERP SimLab. The objective for this series of training videos is to prepare instructors to use ERP Sim to conduct simulation-based training events. They comprise the bulk of the training needed for instructors to be successful, but must be augmented with hands-on practice and additional follow-up training. In this first introduction to ERP Sim, we will put ourselves in the position of the typical participant of a simulation event. We will learn, as the participant would, the basic mechanics of the simulation, the business context, and those parts of the ERP software which we will need to master to get access to information and make our decisions. To accomplish this, we will familiarize ourselves with what is known as the Manufacturing Intro Sim, the simplified version of the manufacturing simulation that will allow us to first learn the basics. Later on, we can explore the advanced options that are available. ERP Sim is a unique business simulation technology developed at HEC Montreal Business School. It enables the simulation of near real-life business contexts of large corporate information systems. There are other simulation games that allow participants to take a strategic view of an enterprise, but ERP Sim is closely coupled with an enterprise system, namely SAP. Participants must use the actual ERP system in a way that is very similar to how they would do so if they were working for a company that used such a technology. So what is it exactly that ERP SIM does if it is entangled with an ERP system such as SAP? ERP SIM serves three functions. First, it provides a population of customers with various preferences and price sensitivities so that the participants of the simulation have a reasonable buyer's market that responds meaningfully to their decisions. Second, ERP SIM automates some of the business functions that are more clerical to free participants to focus on decision-making processes. Retaining this data, but generating it automatically, enables the full experience of the ERP system. The value of detailed reports and decision support tools that exist in the system are not sacrificed or trivialized. The third and final aspect that ERP SIM provides is the simulation of the passing of time. ERP SIM compresses time into a short space creating the appearance of time evolving so that decisions can be visualized, their impact evaluated, then changed and re-evaluated. Every minute, the simulator reads data from the ERP system to examine the decisions taken by the participants and writes new data according to the outcomes of those decisions. For more information about the history and purpose of using simulation games and how to use them as teaching tools, watch the companion videos available on our website. In this first business simulation, you will experience the complete business cycle from planning through to sales, also sometimes referred to as a full cash-to-cash -cash business cycle. In the manufacturing sim, participants must operate the full business cycle, plan, procure, produce, and sell of a make-to-stock manufacturing company, specifically a manufacturer of muesli breakfast cereal. During the simulation, you will take control of this company and make all key decisions. For the most part, Functions that are required to operate the company, but which are not decisions, are automated by the simulator. For example, creating and sending invoices to customers or sending payments to vendors. This will free you and your colleagues to focus on the more strategic and tactical aspects of operating this business. You have competitors, both in terms of other muesli manufacturers and other breakfast products in general. Your goal is to maximize the profit of your company. You will operate this company for 90 simulated days split into three rounds of 30 days each. Your interface for the simulation is SAP, an actual ERP system. Just like you would while working for a real company, you will use the ERP system to run reports, analyze the necessary information to make your decisions, and then take those decisions by entering or adjusting information in the ERP system itself. The objective here is not to become an SAP expert but to simply allow you to use the system in context in order to understand how it can be used to run an enterprise. Through this experience, you will develop a hands-on understanding of the concepts underlying enterprise systems and experience the benefits of enterprise integration firsthand. You aren't alone in this endeavor, since you will share management responsibility for this business with up to six other team members. Your goal is to ensure the profitability of your organization you will be able to track profitability and other performance measures by using standard reports in the system. Please note that it is entirely feasible to experience the simulation by yourself, typically for training or practice purposes. You can compete against other remote participants or just against the computer. However, for actual events, team-based play is the preferred mode. 
Your customer base is the German market. This market has been segmented into three regions, North, South, and West. The products you sell are one kilogram boxes of muesli, available in six flavors. Each of these six products consists of a mixture of oats and wheat, and typically some fruit or nuts, packaged into a bag and box. Original muesli contains only oat and wheat. Nut, strawberry, blueberry, and raisin muesli each contain one extra ingredient, as the name suggests. Your final product is mixed fruit muesli, containing all of these ingredients. Your target customers are large and medium retailers throughout the country. This market is highly competitive because products are simple and generic mass consumption items. Recall that you share this market with other manufacturers as well as substitute products. Your customer base is essentially segmented into two types, identified in the SAP system as distribution channels. Channel 10, the hypermarkets, place large orders less frequently, whereas Channel 12, the grocery stores, place average sized orders frequently. You have essentially two mechanisms by which to attract and retain your customers, pricing and marketing. The pricing decision is national. You must charge the same price to all customers of the same type. You may charge different prices to hypermarkets than grocery stores. In effect, given these two distribution channels and your six products, you have 12 prices to manage. For marketing, you have more granularity as you can independently market each of your six products differently across three regions, so in effect, 18 decisions in all. Marketing is persuasive, including across your own products. That is to say, marketing influences your customers to buy one product instead of another, but not how much muesli they can eat. The size of the demand in each region is fairly stable and is mainly influenced by price. On average, the market share per company can be expected to be around 80,000 euros of sales revenue per day. You have a strong relationship with two suppliers who charge you a fairly stable price throughout the simulation. One supplies you bags and boxes, the other supplies you all the edible ingredients. Both suppliers have more than sufficient capacity to meet all your raw material needs. The simulation will last for 90 simulated days. We will split these into three rounds of 30 days each. A typical business flow begins with planning based on some kind of demand forecasting, then procurement of the necessary materials to manufacture the items necessary to meet that demand, production of items, and finally sales and delivery to customers. In the simulation, however, you will learn this process in reverse, gradually gaining mastery of the full process one step at a time, starting with the easiest sub-process first, sales. Consequently, you will begin the simulation with inventory of both finished products and raw materials. In the first round, you will concentrate only on selling the available inventory of finished products that you have. In the second round, you will additionally learn how to manufacture additional inventory of finished products. And in the third and final round, you will learn how to replenish raw materials and adjust your planning strategies. The pace of the simulation will be about 30 minutes for each round, or roughly one minute per simulated day. Since we have products with a fairly long shelf life, any inventory at the end of a round is carried over and remains available for sale at the beginning of the next round. Due to the competitive nature of the industry, Customers will not place advance orders for a product that you do not have in stock. They'll simply purchase from somebody else. Remember, your sole objective is to maximize profit. Your shareholders are not interested in your market share, only that you generate profit. 